Hello, this is time speed and distance lesson two. In this, I will discuss about the average speed. Now, first of all, what is the average speed? Average speed. This equals to total distance traveled. Whatever the total distance you have traveled, total distance traveled upon total time taken. This is the average speed. Total time taken. In shortcut, you like see that average speed a s is equals to t d total distance upon t t total time. Total distance upon total time. T d stands for total distance. T d stands for total time. This is the basic concept of average speed. Now, if you need to calculate total distance, total distance is equals to average speed into total time cross multiply. What will be the total time? We need to calculate total time will be equals to total distance upon average speed so you can rearrange the variables and find whatever is required now what kind of questions can come let's start with the basic question a person traveled from a to b a person traveled from a to b at a speed of 60 km per hour the same person traveled from again b to a the distance is same a to b b to a at a speed of 40 km per hour the same person what is the average speed of the journey average speed of the journey so answer is not 60 plus 40 by 2 most of the students on the first thing instinct give answer as 60 plus 40 by 2 that is 50 km per hour but that's a wrong answer 50 km per hour is not a right answer it's a wrong answer very important now what will be the right answer let's solve with the basic concept this question can be solved in two ways first i will let you know how to solve with the concept then i will tell you the logical way now Average speed we know the total distance upon total time. We don't know distance. Let's assume that this, this distance is D. This are distance is same as D. Now average speed A S total distance. Total distance upon total time. We know that total distance upon total time. This is my average speed. Total distance upon total time. Total distance is D plus D 2D. D from A to B. D from B to A. Total distance is 2D. Total time. Can I say time from A to B? plus time from B to A. First I will take the time from A to B then B to A. Can I say this equals to 2D time is what? Time is distance upon speed. By speed time distance formula speed is equal to distance upon time. So time is equal to distance upon speed. Distance D from A to B we cover the distance D at a speed of 60 km per hour. From B to A we cover the distance d at a speed of 40 km per hour. Now very important thing here to understand is that d will be get cancelled out because d is common in the numerator as well as the denominator. So d will get cancelled out. What is our average speed would be 2 upon 1 by 60 plus 1 by 40. Solving this you will get can take 60 into 40 as LCM. This become 40 plus 60. So the average speed would be 2 into 60 into 40 upon 60 plus 40. That will be a average speed. And solving this, you will get answer as 48 kilometer per hour. Average speed is 48 kilometer per hour. Now that was the conceptual way. Now how can we generalize this way? Generalized formula. I am just writing. Generalize a very important generalized formula. A person is traveling from A to B at a speed of 60, B to A at a speed of 40. Now, this is a specific speed given. If I take the general speed, let's say a person traveled from A to B at a speed of, let's say, X kilometer per hour. X kilometer per hour. This is speed from A to B. And came back from B to A at a speed of Y kilometer per hour. Now, what will be the average speed? As per this formula, I'm just calculating. My average speed was, as you can see that this was 2 into 60 into 40 upon 60 plus 40. This 60 into 40, 60 plus 40 was when we taken speed from A to B as 60, speed from B to A as 40. But if generalized formula, speed from A to B is X, B to A is Y. So we will replace 60 by X and 40 by Y, 2XY upon X plus Y. This is general formula. To calculate the average speed. 
only if you are travelling from A to B and B to A back when the distance is same so average speed always equals to 2xy upon x plus y in general in, in general we used to cram this formula so no need to cram i have derived this formula we have i have replaced 60 with x and 40 with y so if you are traveling from a to b this formula is applicable if you are traveling from a to b a to b at a speed of x kilometer per hour b to a at a speed of b to a at a speed of y kilometer per hour then your average speed will be 2xy upon x plus y Now that was the conceptual form. Let's say logical way. Now very important thing to here to understand that D got cancelled out in the this concept. The D the value got cancelled out in this concept. This D, 2D upon D plus 60 upon D plus 40. The D is getting cancelled out. It means that for any value of D, the answer will be same. If you take D as one kilometer, still the answer will be 48 kilometer per hour. If you take D as 30 40 60 any value of d the answer will be same so if d does not matter especially in this question when the distance is same you can take d as per your choice as per your convenience so i will take d which is a multiple of 60 and 40 why i am taking 60 multiple of 60 and 40 because then my time will be a complete integer if i will take distance as 120 kilometer 120 km I am taking as a LCM of 2 speed 60 and 40. If you take the LCM of 60 and 40, the common multiple of 40 and 60, the LCM will be 120 km. Now let's see how the question will be easily solved. You are travelling from A to B, A to B, you are travelling from A to B one, at a speed of 60 km per hour, distance is 120 km. You are travelling from B to A at a speed of 40 km per hour distance I have taken 120 km this I have assumed why 120 km I have assumed because 120 is a multiple of 40 and 60 so in general you have to take a multiple of x and y now with this assumption we can solve the question in less than 20 seconds so we know that average speed is total distance upon total time I am solving here in the bottom total distance upon total time. average speed very simple Total distance is 120 plus 120 to 40 kilometer total distance. What is the total time? Time from A to B. You are traveling 120 kilometer at a speed of 60. Time will be 2 hours from A to B. A to B time would be 2 hours. B to A. You are traveling 120 kilometer at a speed of 40. 3 hours will be required. 3 hours. So final answer would be average speed is 240 upon 5. That is 48 kilometer per hour 48 kilometer per hour now this question if comes in exam i can solve this question in less than 20 seconds how i will solve it's given to me a person is traveling from a to b at a speed of 60 b to at a speed of 40 i will assume total distance as 120 so total distance is d plus e 2d 240 time is 2 hours plus 3 hours 5 hours so in this way you can apply so general formula was this 2 into x into y upon x plus y so this kind of question you can solve either with the help of formula, this formula or with the help of assuming the distance. This is a question 1. A man travelled from home to post office at a speed of 30, immediately came back from post office to home at a speed of 20. The whole journey took 5 hours. Then what is the distance between home and post office? Again this question I can solve in two ways. One with the help of concept that we discussed in the previous slide or with the help of option. As I told you, most of the question in can be solved with the help of concept, option, logic and assumption. Not most of, all of the question can be solved with either of these methods. Concept, option, logic or assumption. So first I will solve with the help of concept. Concept first given that home to post office 30 speed post office to home you can see that distance is same when the distance is same you can apply that formula average speed will be equal to first we'll cut the average speed average speed is equal to the formula we discussed in the previous slide this is 2xy into x plus divided by x plus y 
that was the formula we discussed because the distance is same home to post office in both the cases speed is 30 and 20 so you can apply 2 into 30 into 20 upon 30 plus 20 this is equals to 30 into 20 600 into 1200 by 50 your average speed is 24 kilometer per hour this is the average speed is 24 kilometer per hour now what we need to calculate we need to calculate the total distance distance from home to post office now we know that average speed is equals to average speed is total distance upon total time total distance we don't know let us let's say is 2d 2d because d d is the distance between home to post office so home to post office is d post office to home is again back d to total distance was 2d total time is given to you 5 hours total time for the whole journey is 5 hours that is given to you total time is 5 hours average speed you know that average speed is 24 so you know that average speed is 24 this is 5 so 2d 2d would be how much average speed is 24 2d is 24 into 5 120 kilometer so d would be how much 60 kilometer that is your final answer d distance would be 60 kilometer average speed into total time 2d was 120 d would be 60 kilometers so this way you can solve this question in less than 30 seconds in exam now what's the other way that was the concept way this method that i've discussed is a conceptual method concept way you know must know how to solve with a different different way then only you will get a good percentile in aptitude exam option option let's say first try 42 kilometer if this is the distance between home to post office 42 kilometer first calculate total time we will check the total time is if the total time comes 5 hours then the option is right otherwise the option is wrong if the distance first option i am taking 42 kilometer this distance you travel first with a speed of 30 kilometer per hour 30 kilometer per hour you travel this distance you travel with the speed of second time at a speed of 20 kilometer per hour what is the time time in first case would be 42 by 30 this will give you fraction so first instance leave this question leave this option because fraction our answer is numerical answer num integer answer is 5 hours our answer is 5 hours integers so it will not come integers so leave it at one place same way 48 time in the first case would be 48 by time 48 by 30 48 by 20 both are coming fraction leave this option third option is 60 kilometer if the distance from home to post office is 60 kilometers you travel first this distance 60 kilometer at a speed of 30 kilometer per hour what will be the time time will be 2 hours second time you just travel this 60 kilometer with the help of 20 kilometer per hour time is 3 hours total time is 5 hours and that is the time given to us for the whole journey so 60 kilometer is our answer from the option with the help of option even i can solve this question in exam in 20 seconds you only need to see that 42 is not divisible by 30 and 20 so time will come in fraction same way 48 is also not divisible by 30 and 20 time will come in fraction 60 kilometer when you travel at the speed of 30 time will be 2 hours 20 kilometer per hour time will be 3 hours 2 plus 3 5 hours so without solving verbally i can solve this question in exam with the help of option so you have two choices either you can solve with the help of option or with the help of consent as per your convenience.